to the empty house tour, I'm going to quickly give you a run through of the bungalow and then I'm going to talk to you a little bit later about exactly what's going on. So, we basically come straight in. We've got our bathroom with, um, yeah, this, this is all being sorted out. We then come in, we've got cupboards. That's all being ripped out. We then have fudge there. We then have more cupboards. We then have this bedroom, which is the carer's bedroom, um, which fudge is being banned from. That was originally gonna be my media unit. We then have Gran's room. So this will be Gran's room. It's gonna end up being very nice compared to what it is at the moment, but it's okay. I cannot wait for this to be Gran's room. I'm so excited about it being Gran's room actually. And then we come in here. This is our lounge and living area. So basically Dad and Mark are trying to sort stuff out. Basically, um, our TVs go in this side, our sofa in the middle, and then um, the dining room table and things are going here. And then we have our kitchen. So our fridge freezer is going in there, wash machines going in there, and then we've got all our stuff being done here as well. And then this is my room. So um, yeah, this is going here. So this is all being repainted, which I can't wait. Uh, this ends up, it, uh, this bit here is where my bed's going. So my bed's going completely across this way. So good luck to people putting that up. Wardrobe's then going down this way and then we're kind of doing it into an L shape. And then this is the conservatory, which is gonna get turned into the media unit and office space when I can open it. Uh, I've got to get this bit sorted out, but I'm definitely looking forward to getting all this done. Um, and it turned into its own conservatory area. Fudge is pretty happy, gets in. So yeah, and then we'll just go back out. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So, this is literally the garden. Cool. So this is the garden. It's gonna be completely changed when you guys see it, which What's yeah, I just can't wait. I'm so excited. So with regards to what is happening with the bungalow, we're going white throughout with the decoration. So white paint and um, we're going really light colored flooring in the bedrooms and bathroom. At the moment, we're not too sure if we're gonna rip the bathroom out or if we're gonna just um, do little bits to it and change taps and things like that. But we are definitely getting a shower installed to go over the bath. And then into the kitchen, we're having the hob replaced because the hob that is currently there doesn't really work that well. Uh, new boiler's already gone in, so now the storage cupboard that had the tanks in has the freezer in. We've got a new fridge freezer, a new washer dryer, um, a whole entertainment stand going into the living area, which will house the TV, our books, DVDs, CDs, photos, things like that. At the back of the living area behind our lovely new corner sofa with recliners, like I cannot wait to get that in September. So behind that, we've got our sideboard that's gonna become our drinks cabinet. And then we've also got our dining table as well. Now the drinks cabinet sideboard was kind of a drinks cabinet um, at the house in one area. But then the other side was just like paper and things like that. So it's gonna be quite nice to have it more even out and then the drawers will house um, some other bits as well. So I think one of the drawers is gonna have like our place mats and things like that for the dining table. And then we're also gonna have like our corkscrews um, and things like that as well, uh, our wine kits. And then we, I'm not too sure what the top drawer is going to be for yet actually. But then we have a lot of other stuff happening as well. My bedroom, the conservatory, there's big projects going on in there. So one of the biggest things that we've got going on, on is turning the conservatory into my film space and media room. So we've got to take out Finding Nemo, the Finding Nemo fish wall, uh, which is gonna be fun. And then I've got to decide whether I want a light gray background or a white background. I'm not too sure yet because white could mean that the filming gets overexposed. Gray means that it won't be overexposed, but if I need to add light to it, I can. 
and then my bedroom has shelving going up above the bed which is going to have light strips on we've got lighting going throughout the house which can be voice controlled we've got voice controlled curtains going up eventually and um, basically we're turning it into like a smart home but the whole reason we're turning it into a smart home is so that grand's got more independence because whilst it's just more convenient for me to have voice controlled lights and voice controlled curtains um, because of like light switch placement and also because curtains are quite hard to open as a wheelchair user for gran being hemiplegic and having to rely on people for so much those tiny little things will help her feel so much more independent within the house so well within the bungalow should i say so i really cannot wait for those to go in our new tv's even voice activated so gran's going to be able to speak to the tv and if she wants to watch a film which can't remember the title she's only got to speak a couple of words into it and it will find the exact film that she's trying to find so that's going to be really exciting to show her because she comes home mid-august um and then the garden is absolutely insane the garden's another big project so we are having astroturf put in um, we're having level patio. We were going to go for decking. It then got decided the patio would be easier. Um, so we're having it all level access. There's a new patio door going in, which I cannot wait because it will give me access to the back of the bungalow and also means that me and Grant can use that as the main door as opposed to having to come around to the front because all of our parking's out the back. Um, and then we are also ripping out the old decking, but we're going to recycle that decking for um, raised sleeper beds. And then we're also getting veg, um, like raised vegetable beds as well, so we can plant our own veg and things, which is going to be really, really fun to do. So I'm super excited. There's going to be loads of little things happening. Hopefully we get it all done so that we can enjoy the last bit of summer in the garden. If not, then it will all definitely be finished ready for next summer. The garden furniture will probably have to wait till next summer if we can't get it all finished. Um, but all in all, it's costing a lot of money because there's a lot of things that need repairing. Um, we've got to put new windows into the skylights and that's quite an expensive job. Um, other things need doing as well. Potentially need a new front door. Um, and then at some point I need to start thinking about the conservatory because the while i'm turning it into a media film space um anyway home office type thing for me the conservatory itself in a couple of years time i may look to replace and get a nicer conservatory or even try and push for planning permission to get an extension of the extension if it's even allowed which i've been told mixed messages um about whether it will be allowed or not so that's the plan i cannot wait to show you the finished project when it does get finished and i'm even thinking of actually using the video footage from the house tour empty um, to show you kind of what that room looked like before to what it looked like after we'd sorted it um, the only flooring that is actually staying down is the flooring in the kitchen the lounge and the hallway but at some point they will probably come up as well and um, just because it was going to cost so much money to go all through new flooring which is why we focused on the bedrooms and the bathroom because the bathroom's got really slippery vinyl in at the moment and the bedrooms have got carpet in and carpet and wheelchairs don't mix so yeah i can't wait to share it all with you cannot wait to um show you a little bit on the uh film space as well the film space is just going to be a whole new video to itself i mean i will show you like little bits of it um because that will take a long time to finish but yeah i just oh i can't wait and grand's moving mid, mid august which i'm looking forward to but our sofa's not even going to be here by the time that she gets home so the sofa that's going into my film space is actually going to be in the lounge when she comes home but yes could all interesting could get fun Am I looking forward to it? Yes. Am I very stressed? Yes. Um, but that's what it is. At the end of the day, it's going to be a couple months of stress, but then we finally get to relax in our bungalow, having made it our own, and really start to enjoy it. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you're new to the channel. 
and I am gonna super, super look forward to sharing more with you, tips and tricks about moving house, um, how to make a house accessible, and yes, I, I just can't wait. Take care, stay safe, and see you all in the next video. Bye.